currently 15 miles in and as I said last video talking less so the plan for this one is I'm going up Holden Hill again but I'm not doing a 60 mile ride I think it's going to be like a 35 40 um, it's my last one in Devon so as of well Monday for you and me as of Monday I'll be back in London with no bike for about a week and a half while I uh, ferry all my stuff upwards, up and back. Um, got a gas to get it back in London. Get down Richmond Park and do some laps. Laps. I was just trying to do my uh, no hand training course in a headwind, which apparently makes it a lot harder. I've also tried that adjustment thing of 7 point, so it's only stuff times by 0.77 or something. Tried that. It's been alright so far. Back in my H&M trousers. Oh, love the pockets. Any place I can go. Oh, probably not. Oh, this wind. No handed. I do the fact that I'm sliding down the nose of my saddle, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Made some friends. So, with a peloton, but I don't want coffee, so. Turn my Garmin back, but luckily there's only like 200 meters I missed that one. Um, decided to go to the Warren before the climb so I can get some water and then use that Triad Sturka ML60 or M60, whatever it is, again. But we're gonna get back and get up a hill. Woo! <laughs> struggling I don't know why but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to stop on this hill I do everything I can to not but no promises here we go that's the guy up now real two hundred foot down 
700 to go. This is the, the little respite until the actual real climb starts. So, and that was pretty, my legs are just like jelly at the moment. Amazon Prime never delivered me those legs. Let's go. Kingsbury's van just took all of my momentum. All of it drained. The hill's fighting me today, it's not going with me. did it didn't think I was going to be able to do it pushed on through gonna have to swear at myself as much this time um, legs are like actually not feeling horrendous I like didn't even consider stopping on that one last time there was a nice little breakaway and I was like oh if I stopped there no one would know but I'd know and it would f*** me off but yes woo fat boy can climb they must have delivered my legs yesterday, uh, last week because there's no way they were my legs going up that hill. Time to be gutted again. GoPro tires to turn itself off. The screen came on. I was, I was looking at myself in the reflection with the cut with the timer going up. Be able to go for a playback at the bottom of the hill. And there's nothing. Nothing from the whole time I was on the top of the hill. The whole descent, which was so fun. Gutted. Alright. I'm just a bit annoyed uh, now after that. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. It makes no sense because I was at the top of the hill and I was talking like I am now with the red with the red light showing. I even reframed. I even like reframed it so that like when I'm in my aero position that the video makes sense. <clears throat> that you can see everything, not just on my bars. So I know that it was recording. But for some reason they just knocked itself out. Maybe like, <clears throat> maybe because I got the the media mod on now. <clears throat> maybe that's just like shook the battery out, so they, they didn't even save. So it just corrupted the video. Maybe because it's a very bumpy downhill. <sighs> but I'll definitely remember that for next time when I'm going on the down descent. I'll take the mod off and just use the normal GoPro as is. Oh, so guided. As I just said, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm a little bit deflated after that technology issue, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. I was really excited about that. I was like, it's some real good like content, really good fun. The main reason I climbed up that hill well, so you guys could watch it, all three of you. But thanks for watching today. Have a enjoy the rest of your afternoon, your evening, your night. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.